New Jersey and welcome to Getting to Know You. Today I have Ryan Pfeiffer from uh, Portrait Theaters um, with us. Um, Ryan, it's good to see you today. How's everything going today? Uh, it's going great. It's going great. How about with you? Uh, still snowed in, getting some stuff done, going a little stir crazy, but I'm good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Are you... Um, we're going to, like I said, we're doing a talk show, getting to know you. We would like to get to know you first to introduce yourself to everyone so we get to know you. So, yeah, absolutely. How did you get into theater? Well, I started as an actor and I attended the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York. And from there, um, I did several production in New York, um, moved to LA for a little bit. Um, did some touring stuff and then ended up coming back to New Jersey uh, after a couple different tours. And <clears throat> when I was back, um, I started working at a local school as a uh, just as a teacher's assistant. And um, then as I was there, um, one of the, uh, the the principal there actually um he knew about my background and asked if I had ever been interested in, you know working with the kids, doing some sort of theater program. So I said, yeah, that would be great. So um, we ended up starting a after school uh, theater program and um, the kids were super excited about it and I had a great time. And so from there we put on production after production. And uh, after I would say probably a year or two, um, the students that would eventually age out um, began to ask what's next um, once they were no longer with the school. And they asked if uh, if I had any other classes or programs or, um, you know, uh, performances that I would be working on. Oh, wow. And I said, you know, not at the moment, but um, let me see what I can do. So uh, from there, yeah, that's when I started to just rent out um, different spaces, uh, you know, churches and um any place that kind of had like, a, you know, some available room and uh, yeah, and, and started uh, hosting acting classes, improv classes, uh, musical theater classes, oh, wow. and it sort of developed. Uh, yeah, from there. And um, eventually I met my uh, wife and she was uh, also working at a theater, but in uh, in Pennsylvania. And she was doing everything um, behind the scenes. So web development, marketing, uh, accounting. And uh, so we sort of, you know, linked up that way as well, and uh, eventually found the the space that we we now still have in uh, in Glen Rock. And we've been there uh, ever since 2000. And uh, I think, nine, seven or nine. Yeah, I have to go back and look, it's been it's been, it's been a long time. But wow. yeah, so that's been our home. Yeah. And, and so I always say it's a little gem. Because when you go down the road, you don't expect to see anything like that. And then you walk in, it's like, this is, place is pretty cool. Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's very unassuming from the outside because it's in sort of like an industrial uh, complex. I mean, since then, the street has actually really developed nicely. There's, um, you know, a yoga studio now. There's a gym. Um, you know, there's a... Um, uh, photography studios. So there's, there's some great places that have since opened up there. But yeah, once you walk in, it kind of goes around in sort of a U shape. So uh, where we have yeah, black box theater. I hope um, I hope yeah. that came out as a good thing. Oh was, yeah, no yeah, no yeah. no. I, I love that. I, I love. I was coming back because it's actually that road. Everything there is pretty cool. Oh yeah, no no yeah. no. It is. It's very unassuming. Um, and I, you know, again, we 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 uh, have grown to to love that little, you know, that little nook there. Um, while it would be awesome to, you know, being on like a main street definitely has its perks. Um, it's nice to kind of be set back as we as we are there. Um, you know, kind of gives us a little a little privacy to to make lots of noise with the kids. We're not bothering anyone, which is which is good. So yeah, but we uh, yes, yeah, so we have the black box theater and we have. Um, four uh, small uh, studios, and then we have a giant studio in the uh, in the back. Yeah, I, I love how you actually had the audience set up too, because it's very intimate. And yeah. it's still, still awesome, because I'd rather have intimacy more than a big theater where you don't get any. And when I yeah, watch you the know, show, the kids are great. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's um, obviously, you know, there's some really gorgeous theaters, uh, 
around New Jersey. Um, but a lot of my training comes from black box theater. It's a lot of what I did. And yeah, I, I love the intimacy of it. I love that you were close up. Every seat is a great seat. Um, and especially for our students, um, with their parents there, uh, you know, they can hear everything, they can see everything. Uh, and it's also a great experience for them too, because they know that they they can be seen in whatever they're doing. You know, they're not in this giant space where they're, if they're in like the second or the third row uh, of, a, of a chorus number that they're not gonna be seen. So, you know, we'll, we'll definitely be able to see them wherever they are. So um, yeah, it's, 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 a great, uh, it's a great little space and it's, uh, you know, definitely been a labor of love. Well, the cool thing is, most of your shows are original too, correct? Yes, we do a lot of original works. Um, and and that, again, comes from a lot of uh, my training and background. I'm a big fan of original works. Um, you know, not only I've come to produce a lot myself, but, um, you know, we've had some other people on staff that are artists as well. And they, uh, again, love to create, love to uh, showcase their work. And um, yeah, you know, there's, again, there's nothing wrong with, uh, we do tons of uh, scripted musicals um, for our students. But I also uh, love when we can bring a piece to the kids and they haven't heard of it and they're, you know, just as excited um, when it doesn't involve, you know, Elsa or Anna or, you know, one of the, the big names in, in some of the, uh, you know, Disney Junior type shows that are out there. Um, so, yeah, and it's a chance for them to... Um, take a character and make it their own. There's nothing else that they can watch or be compared to. So uh, they have a chance to sort of build the character from the ground up. And uh, it's very exciting for me to, to watch and direct or, or see others direct um, and produce. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really great to be able to have the freedom to do that. I, I love seeing those type of shows too, because get, I get not mocking shows that are done a lot, but how many times can I see Annie or... Funny thing, I've been waiting for him. If you want to see something different, that's why I'm like, thank God they're putting up more shows that I haven't not heard or seen or and get me there so I can enjoy something new. Yeah, yeah. Again, there's nothing wrong with classics. I mean, they're they're classics for a reason. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm the same way. Um, I'll I'll always try to look for. Uh, an original piece, something that maybe hasn't done too much and um, yeah, and see what it's all about. Um, and uh, and again, be able to just give everyone on the team a new experience and it, uh, yeah, definitely helps branch uh, out their thinking as well, which is, which is great. Do you have anything coming up uh, soon? Like any shows in progress or? Yeah, we have, um, one thing that's uh, great about our theater is we sort of run like a summer stock does, but all year round. So we are constantly producing shows um, and we do it at different uh, age levels, of course. So we have coming up for our uh, Academy Junior program, we have James and the Giant Peach. So those are our little guys. For our older students, which are in middle school and high school, we are working on 13, the musical. And then for our um, YPT, that, that's our youth performance group. They're our advanced group that auditioned to be a part of uh, the company. We are doing um, something very cool with our senior troop, actually. We are doing an original um, movement story series where it hasn't been written, it hasn't been uh, fully created yet, actually. It's, it's all from the ground up. And basically what I did was I gave the kids um, an outline uh, that we were going to follow. We were going to be telling the origin story uh, of a particular character. And, um, and we were just doing lots of workshop, uh, workshopping about how we could possibly tell this piece. So some of it was through movement, some of it was through dialogue or mirroring or dance. Um, again, some of our uh, super talented MDs uh, were just in the background kind of laying the groundwork for some music. And so we've started to create a structure and um, little by little, we're starting to piece that together. So that'll go up in March. And it's one of these, uh, you know, kind of exciting things where it's not done yet. And again, it's all sort of up here and, and out there. They know where we have to go, but there's no script. There's uh, just sort of this this outline that we're we're working against. That's really but, neat. Um, that is really, really neat. Cool. 
Now, do you have yeah. a website that, in case people want to come see this, you could tell them to go there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, porchlightproductions.org. And um, we'll have everything up there. Some of the stuff is up there now. And if it's not, it'll be up there. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty soon. We were supposed to put this up a little while ago, but, um, you know, with everything with the, the new, uh, you know, variant and things like that, we sort of had to push things back a little bit, but it's all right. We'll just a little bit more time to craft it, which is, which is great. That's awesome. The other thing is I asked for theaters because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to attach theaters together. Is there a contact email on there just in case saying, hey, I got some props that you might need, or I heard you're doing 13. I have yeah. some sets or anything like that. So do you have info for them to contact you just in case? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the best way to do it is uh, info at porchlightproductions.org, because uh, that is sort of our main hub, and that uh, that email will basically get any information out to uh, whoever uh, you know is in, in the head of that department. So info at porchlightproductions.org. I want to thank you for coming today and uh, telling us about your theater and your shows coming up. It's really a privilege. Oh my gosh, thank you. I mean, it's such a great thing that you're you're doing and uh, yeah, kind of bringing everyone together and uh, yeah, just shining a spotlight on all the great theater that's happening uh, right here in New Jersey. So I thank you.